What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about this guy right here. This is the... Man, I bought it so long ago I can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, the Smart Gauge D2 from Topeak. Um, this thing is really cool, especially if you're really particular about the tire pressures that you run. Uh, I, you know, I had my hardtail was a 2.8 tire, and you, you know, when you run it at 16 psi, it's a huge difference if you're going to run it at 15, 14, or even 17. You know, anywhere around that number, one psi can make a big difference on those. Um, like I said, I'm really particular about my tire pressures. I check it out before every ride, and this is what I use. Hey guys, make sure you hit subscribe on this video if you want to see more great content like this. Uh, make sure you hit like on this video if you really, Jesus, you can't hit subscribe on a video. So you're probably asking yourself, why would you pick up something like this when you have a gauge on your floor pump that works just fine? Well, to be honest with you, your floor pump gauge sucks. It is not anywhere near close what a actual digital tire pressure reader that's, you know, good. Well, how about we put this thing to the test? Let's check this thing out. Let's uh, let's try this first. My floor pump I got from Jensen USA, which you know it's a good floor pump. But you know what? We'll see how this does. All right. So I have a Minion 2.8 here. Minion, yeah. Oh, that's not good. So we are going to put this on. We are going to pump this thing up. I don't run this pressure, but we'll put it to it. Let's go for, you know, trick. We're at 25 is what it says. So this says 25. Take that off. Grab my handy dandy little guy here. Sixteen PSI. The huge difference between 25. So for giggles. Put this back on here. Let's go. Let's go 35 pounds. Not that you would ever run it at that high. All right, 35. Yeah, I would never run that. That's ridiculous. Twenty-five. So I mean if it really if you were trying to run this on a plus size bike and you're trying to run this thing at you know 15 psi, you'll do what I did when I first got this bike, you'll set this thing to 15 PSI on here and you're gonna blow out a rim. You can see, about 15. Six, six PSI. You'll blow up a rim so fast at 6 PSI. So if you're really into running the right pressures, like down to the PSI, I'll push this button so it's a constant read. And now, 13. Now if I wanted to lower it, for instance, I, would, I could hold this. 12. 11. So it'll give you a constant reading as you let air out, and that's huge. So what's really cool about this thing is that it's really easy to use. Uh, you basically hit the power button right here, and then you have this button right here that'll turn on the constant monitoring mode. And then you have a unit change right here. So, you know, if you're not a person who uses a PSI, you have bar, a kilogram per centimeter, and PSI. So yeah, that's it. Well, well, do you guys use a digital tire pressure gauge just like this, or do you go off your floor pump? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, well, this is the MTB Rad Dad signing off, and I'll see you next time.